Studios. For me, it is about the law and people. That is not a legal defense, let me tell you. And how people can resolve and better themselves. Justice with passion. I knew I was going to go into law because I always defended everybody. I was always the one who found a solution and tried to resolve the problem by having people talk to each other. Justice with truth. So I'm giving you one more chance to tell me the truth. This is Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. Co-plaintiffs Eva and Paul Cole are suing their former landlord Greta McHale in the amount of $1,400 for the return of a month's rent and a deposit they say she owes them. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Christina Perez presiding. Please be seated. All parties have been sworn in, Your Honor. Thank you, Bernard. Mr. and Mrs. Cole, I understand you are suing your former landlord. Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes. explain to me what happened. Uh, bottom line, Your Honor, uh, we had issues with this unit since day one. How long did you live in the unit? Uh, approximately three years. Um, we had issues with our neighbors uh, playing loud music, partying into all hours of the night. Um, I'm talking until about two in the morning, mm -hmm. every single night. Um, every single night? Every, every single night. Long? Weekdays, weekends, didn't matter. For how long? Um, for about two years until he finally moved out. So for two years, somebody played music every single night until 2 o'clock in the morning? Virtually every night. Your and Honor. how many people live in this building? Um, a lot more than I think should. There's about 50 units. How many you apartments? Um, you know, they've got some units that have like six, five, six people okay. in there. Okay, so, so for two years you withstood the noise and nobody else complained? There were other complaints, okay. but she never did anything about okay. it. Her, what, the only thing what she did... What happened in two years of you having a tenant that would play loud music until two o'clock in the morning every single day for two years in, in a row? As far as I know, Your Honor, I never heard that there was a tenant doing it every night. Yes, on the weekends, there were some partying going on in the mm -hmm. units, but as... Um, How many complaints did you get from your tenants? They were the only ones that complained about them. About the music? That's yes. Not true. But they said that no. there were other people that no. complained. Everybody complained. Not that I can remember, Your okay. Honor. Okay, all right, so that's one thing. What else happened in the three years that you were living there? Okay, uh, Your Honor, there was uh, one time where we forgot. Genuinely, we forgot to pay the rent on time. Um, I think it was due on a Friday. Um, that Monday, when we came home from work, there was a three-day pay quitter notice on our door, okay? Fine, I forgot to pay the rent. Okay, let me go ahead and take care of that. I went down there. Have they ever been late with rent before? No, Your Honor. Okay, and did you, uh, how late was the rent? Like you said, three days. Three days, and is it customary for you to do that? Yes, it is. For anybody who, who pays rent, what, a day, two days, three days before you do that? Yes, Your Honor, because I tried to talk to them about it in a nice way, but they are chronic complainers. They're always complaining about chronic everything. Complainers. Okay, so, but for any other tenant that does the same thing, you do that? Yes, no. I do. Okay. Your Honor, that's not true. No? Why is that no. not true? No. The uh, person that lives right next to us, she has a two-year-old. And the two-year-old is just like regular two-year-olds, but he's really rambunctious. She has not paid in five months. She's how do you been know laid this? off. She's been laid off. She's come. How, how, how she's do you know she hasn't paid? She's borrowed money from us. Right. Okay. She's how do you not us, know that maybe her parents paid for rent? She's told us that she's behind. Okay. And, and she has not paid in five months. Is that months. true? Has she's that other rent? Has that other renter not paid rent? That is true, Your Honor. Okay, and is she under eviction proceedings? Yes, she is. Okay, she's under eviction proceedings. Okay. Sometimes but... eviction proceedings can take 30 days to six months. as depends on the tenant, how they hash it out. So, okay, so then did you put a three-day pay or quit notice on her, on her door, that other tenant? Yes, I have. Okay, Your Honor. all right. So how is that different from you guys? Your, Your Honor. I never, saw the, no I never saw the notice. I had to get uh, a $25 late fee assessed, and it was paid immediately. Okay. But you know what? Okay. Again, I just forgot. Okay? okay. We're talking between Friday and Monday. Okay. Okay. Not even, you know, business All days. Right. This she is over has the told us that she did, she did the same thing with the other tenant, and that tenant was under eviction proceedings. Okay. What else is, are your complaints? Okay. Uh, and uh, again, there was another tenant who was being very aggressive, uh, making sexually suggestive remarks to other tenants, including my wife. Okay. okay? And again, we addressed did it with her. Did you call the police? We were told to, which we did. And again, we've and contacted the, the police, police so many times, we're on a first name basis. Okay, so they come? Th they would come, but you know what? By the time they arrive, the situation's already, you know, been resolved. The guy's already gone Ms. back to McHale, his apartment. Did you, were you aware that there was a tenant doing this? 
Yes, they and did tell happened? me about it. And what? I went to, when I went over there and took a look around, I spoke with the tenant, and he said that he didn't know what I was talking about. Hmm. So all I could say to him was, please keep your remarks to yourself and stay away from her and any other of the ladies. Did any other lady, female tenants, complain about this tenant? No, Your Honor. No? No. Okay. All right. So what else, Mr. Miss, Mrs. Cole? The final straw, Your Honor, was the mold. Okay, the mold. Uh, the mold. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, there was a solar water heating system on the roof that broke. Uh, okay. Water just le leaked into you know several units, including ours. Saturated a bunch of stuff. They came in. They replaced some of the drywall, put a little paint up, real superficial stuff. That was it. Within two weeks of that happening. Okay, there's this black film that's starting to develop on the linoleum in the bathroom, okay, on the walls, in the bathroom, and in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Okay, within about a month later or so, give or take, my wife starts developing a, a little bit of a cough. Okay, mm. we went to the doctor. One month? About a month. About okay. a month. This happened, you know, uh, a couple months ago, so tail end of the summer. Okay. And she developed this cough. We went to, to have that checked out. It turns out she's got the initial stages of a lung infection from the mold. Really? From do the you have that evidence of that from your doctor? Yes, it's, yes, yes, Your Honor, we let do have see, that. Let me see all your evidence. Do you have an actual letter from your actual doctor? Actual yes, letter, yes, Your Honor. Letter from the doctor. They took culture. The tests are okay. in there. Okay, where's the letter from the doctor? The it's inside the front folder. Well, I just have, there's no letter. There's just, there's just notes of, uh, Neighbors, trash outside, street lights. It could be in the Men hanging on the corner, honor. trash outside, fight in the courtyard. Um, yeah, uh, Your Honor, I do apologize. We might actually have to give the original to the health department. We filed a grievance with okay, them. Okay, and what happened with the health department, uh, Ms. McHale? Uh, what happened with the health they department? Had, they asked me to clean it up, and that's what we did. We cleaned it up. And was she, it mold? Well, actually, it was a bad case of mildew. Oh. Oh. Mildew? Mildew, which okay. resembles mold. So they really, all they had to do was just do a good scrubbing and cleaning in their bathroom. And oh. it, so are you saying that I'm dirty? Are you saying that I'm dirty? Coming up on Justice for All. They left scuff marks all over the walls. They On the carpet, there were cigarette burns everywhere. We don't even smoke. There was trash everywhere. And later... I didn't run the red light. But that's not what the police report says. The police were not there when the accident occurred. You just did ready, aim, he fire, and went for the intersection. Closed captioning provided by... Break free, break free from penalty fees. A green dot card puts your mind... Big banks, no thanks. Do you know what I mean? When it comes to money, honey, Green Dot sets you free. Millions of Americans break free with Green Dot cards. No overdraft fees or credit card debt. It's the no-hassle way to handle your money. Get yours now at GreenDot.com and at major retailers nationwide. Break free. You're watching Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. Hershey's Bliss, one square inch of deliciously smooth chocolate and creamy milk. Or rich dark. Incredible indulgence. One square inch of bliss. Hershey's Bliss. If you're sitting with a structured settlement or annuity, you're sitting on a pile of cash. But if you need that cash now, call J.G. Wentworth and say, I need cash now. They'll make it easy to get the cash. It's not like taking out a loan or maxing out your credit card, and there's no debt because you're not borrowing the money. You're just sitting on it. Well, don't sit on it any longer. Get your cash now by calling J.G. Wentworth and speak with one of our specialists. There's no cost or obligation. J.G. Wentworth has helped thousands of people, and they can help you too. Instead of sitting on a pile of cash, call now and get it in your hands. You'll be sitting pretty, pretty fast. So don't just sit there and think about it. Pick up the phone and call J.G. Wentworth now. Call 1-800-734-6520. 1-800-734-6520. It's your money. Use it when you need it. Did you know this single cap of game gives as much freshness as a whole bottle of that other stuff? That's more than enough freshness to go around. Unless you're this guy. Don't be this guy. Get irresistibly fresh with game. Hey. Move to Metro is on. 4G LTE speed for just $30 a month. Unlimited talk, unlimited text, and a bunch of 4G LTE data without the annual contract. 30 bucks. It's the most affordable 4G LTE plan in the country. Only at Metro PCS. 
Where are you going? You're in charge of your life. Don't cut yourself short. You deserve better. Do what you got to do right now to give yourself a better future. Now, ever they want you to be successful. Everything that you do in the classroom is the same stuff you're going to do once you get out there. Time goes by so fast. It's easy. Stop wasting time. Make the call. Me making the phone call was the best thing I ever did in my life. Now I'm getting paid more. They helped me find a career. It's so simple. Do what you got to do. I did it. You can do it. Just call the number. Call Everest. Everyone's moving to our biggest 4G phone sale ever. Android Smart Blazing Fast 4G LTE phones as low as $79 after rebate with no annual contracts. Go 4G LTE this fall at an unbeatable price. Only at Metro PCS. You're watching Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. We're back with the case of co-plaintiffs Eva and Paul Cole, who are suing landlord Greta McHale for the return of rent and a security deposit. How much longer did they have on the lease? They had about another three months, Your Honor. Another three months, okay. All right. And so then they left. They, does your lease call the, for the 30-day notice? If they wanted to leave, all they had to do was give me a written 30-day notice. We did. And then they could have left, but they left w without a sign. I mean, they just up and left okay. without anybody knowing it. And do you left have a copy completeness. of your third, of your, uh, of, of the letter that you sent her? Uh, no, it was, no, email it, was it was an email, Your Honor. And honestly, you know what? Did you ever she, receive an email from them no, saying Your Honor. that they were moving out? No, she Your Honor. How did you Why? discover they were mo that moved out? Because when I went there to finish collecting the rent for that month, they were gone. It was empty. Hmm. Oh, okay. And what a mess they left. What do you mean, a what mess. a mess they left? Explain yes, they you. left food in the refrigerator that was going rotten and smelling. They left scuff marks all over the walls. They On the carpet, there were cigarette burns everywhere. We don't even there smoke. was trash everywhere. So it costs a lot of money to re repair some of the things that have been damaged in that apartment. How much yeah. did you spend in, in, so in repairing it? It wasn't normal wear and tear? Not with cigarette burns on the carpet, Your Honor. Mm. Your Honor. That is How long have they lived in the apartment? Three years? Yes. Okay, and when did, had you changed the carpet? Well, Never. before they came in there. Okay. We have to change the carpet. And when and was the last time you repainted? Well, we haven't painted since painted they've been in here. Oh, since they moved in. Okay, got it. Um, okay, so then the security deposit you claim that's the other $700 that they're suing for? Yes. You kept because you had to... To repair the damage they did to the apartment when they left. Okay. Common sense, and it's normal in every lease that you must give a 30-day notice. You must. You did not give a 30-day notice, therefore, she's allowed to keep... That's why you put the first month's rent down and you put a security deposit exactly for these reasons, okay? Now, having said that, you violated that term. You're, you're saying that my apartment was not habitable, that, that it wasn't a good place to live, but you are giving me absolutely no evidence that uh, of any of these complaints, I, I, I can't just take your word for it, okay? Having said that, when you have an, and you know this, Mrs. McHale, I don't need to tell you this. When you have an, a, a, a tenant that is there for so long, three, four years, you're going to have to do repaint. You're going to have to rechange the carpet. You're going to have to do those things. Based on that, I will deny part of your claim, but I will make the defendant give you back the security deposit. Good luck to you all. All right. Judge Perez has ruled in favor of the co-plaintiffs. The defendant is ordered to pay $700. Okay, so now you're getting your security deposit back, and you should be all happy, and I wish you guys a lot of luck, and I hope that you have found a nice place to live, and I'm sorry it had to end this way. And later... I didn't run the red light. But that's not what the police report says. The police were not there when the accident occurred. You just did ready, aim, he fire, and went for the intersection. Closed captioning provided by. What moves me? Healthy joints and new move free. It helps my body maintain and repair up to 38% more cartilage. Healthy joints move free. You're watching Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. Are your teeth keeping you from a better job? The career you want? Romance in your life? At Western Dental, our dentists and specialists can help. Whether it's for whitening, wisdom teeth, dentures, braces, or even implants, we make people smile every day, children and adults. And we offer interest-free installments, even if your credit isn't perfect. Call us at 1-800-6-DENTAL. We're here for you.
students are still exposed to the dangers of secondhand smoke. And some of them can't do anything about it. Years ago, I made a promise to provide the best for my family, in sickness and in health. Carol and I needed help figuring out what's covered by Medicare and what's not. So we turned to the same folks we've relied on for health insurance all these years. Ron and Carol called Anthem Blue Cross and found an affordable Medicare plan that pays for some costs original Medicare won't. Now they can keep making memories for years to come. Choose from plans with no monthly premiums and protection from high out-of-pocket costs that also include coverage for prescription drugs at more than 64,000 pharmacies. Get the freedom to keep the doctors you already trust. If you're eligible for Medicare, we'll help you find a plan that fits your needs. Call or go online now to get answers. You only have until December 7th to enroll. Call today. Anthem Blue Cross, 1-888-370-7225. That's 1-888-370-7225. You can make excuses or there's reasons why things happen. There's a reason why this happened. Okay. And you need to learn some, sometime sooner or later. So I'm sorry, this is the, the hard way you have to learn, but this is how life is. On the next till death. Get up there right now and put on a shirt that wasn't shot at you from a cannon at a football game. <laughs> Today at 5 on KDOC-TV Los Angeles. It's some of the 